I need to tell you guys about the most impressive air purifier I have ever seen. Not only is it super powerful, but it's also quiet, flexible, aesthetically pretty nice, and makes filter changes easy. One of my subscribers built it and emailed me about it, and I was like, okay, I definitely have to feature this guy. So let's explore how he constructed it. But if you feel like you would never be able to build something like this, don't worry, because I'll teach you some ways that you can get a powerful and quiet air purifier too, without doing so much work. And without further delay, here's the man himself. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Kristin, and I live in Sweden. So what got you interested in air purification in the first place? my crazy pollen allergies. When spring comes, I have troubles staying awake. I mean, it's physically hard to keep my eyes open. So you can imagine how difficult that makes my day-to-day -day life sometimes. And I also have very many different types of medications that I take every day. So I looked into buying an air purifier on my own. In that process, luckily, I came across Alex's video on HEPA being a scam. It changed the entire thing for me. You can actually make an air purifier on your own for a fraction of the price that performs sometimes better than the top range of what you can buy that's already pre-made with a, with a HEPA filter in it. And that's called a CR box, a Corsi Rosenthal box. And the inspiration came from Alex and his video on how to make one on your own. And I also took some inspiration from clean air kits and the 3D handyman. An ultra powerful air purifier is useful in a lot of different situations to prevent viral transmission in a home or a classroom. Like say your kid goes to school and brings home viruses all the time. They're also useful for super sensitive people whose symptoms make their life hell like me and Gustin. Uh, very moldy homes, cities with terrible outdoor air quality, areas with bad wildfire smoke, people who are allergic to pollen or pet dander, and a lot more. His design has a whopping, a, a staggering 18 fans. So nine on each end, and they blow out in opposite directions. So both panels of fans are exhausting. And I like that Goosen used this configuration, by the way. In this study, a similar configuration, but with two box fans blowing opposite each other, performed the best of any configuration. Did you have like a specific goal for this build? That was to make the unit as quiet as I possibly could without sacrificing its performance. You could do so by adding more fans, increasing the airflow. And when you add more fans, you can run them at a lower speed, at a lower RPM, which ultimately lowers the noise. And to be able to do so, I needed to control the fan speed. So I bought this fan controller called the, the Noctua NAFC1. Could you give us like an inside scoop into the building process? So it all started out with me building a framework out of wood. This is actually an old dining table. So these are the legs, which I cut grooves in or slots, which you could slide the filters in, which makes future filter changes very easy. And then I cut the tabletop into pieces and glued them together into thinner pieces. This is the the full thickness of the tabletop. And then I cut them into thinner pieces to be able to glue them together. And here you can see that I laid out all the fans to get kind of a grid so that I knew where to drill the holes and to drill the holes for the screws and to get all the measurements for that, but also to make these holes for the actual fans, the fan blades. That's all the framework that there is to it. Finished. Can you talk about a challenge that you ran into? So something that was really important for me when I built this from scratch on my own was to get all the cables out of the way. I got these cable clips or cable ties, which I screwed onto this wooden, wooden strip, which also acts as a divider and kind of a stabilizer for the entire wooden panel, the end piece. And I also zip tied the cables together. These are the fan types that you can daisy chain together. So I think it's something like this, one, two, three, four. The rest of the fans, these five, one, two, three, four, five, that's the second chain. And those two chains are then connected to each other so that I get one cable out, which is that one over there. So that's the two cables from the two different chains. And then they're connected to each other. And I get one four pin cable out. 
I know noise reduction was a priority for you, so did you do anything special to reduce noise? So I made this quick sketch of a side view of the panel to be able to show you what I did with rubber O-rings. Here you can see the light, light gray here that goes through all of these squares or rectangles is the screw, which first runs through the wooden panel. This big chunk of dark grayish color here is the fan. And this is the washer and that's the nut. By putting rubber O-rings on each side of the fan is that the fan's vibration stays in the fan so that they don't move to the, to the entire panel. I don't know if that actually makes a difference in this build. I haven't tried it without it, but I think it does something at least. I also had Gustin do a noise test and this air purifier measures 40 decibels, 40 decibels on maximum speed. For those of you who don't know, that is really impressively quiet. So he did use Arctic P12 PC fans, which are among the quietest on the market. Anyway, can you show how everything kind of comes together? Here's the full list of all the components that I actually used, if some of you are interested in that. And here you can see the two fan panels. And I also got these extension cables that connect the two big fan chains together. So it runs alongside the leg here all the way to the top to ultimately be connected into the fan controller, the Noctua. It's just a plastic box with a, with a knob on it and it has small LEDs. It gets brighter the more you turn the knob. So that's a, that's a fun detail. How did you power the unit? Yeah, and here's a video of when I installed the driver into the unit. I needed to convert the electricity that goes into the unit to 12 volts so that I would be able to plug it into the wall and just turn it on. So that's just a mean well, ordinary mean well driver. It's just one cable out of the unit and then it's just a plug, which you can see. And here's a video that I shot of the entire thing. And here you can see how I made a, a small clip out of aluminum that clamps the controller. And what's so great with having a fan controller in a design like this with PC fans is that you can run it at very low speeds, which makes it very, very quiet. I can stand right in front of the entire unit when it's up and running and I barely hear it. What that also enables is that I could crank it up and clean the entire place in a very short amount of time. So that controller actually makes the entire unit more flexible. So how powerful is this air purifier exactly? Well, Gustin hasn't done particle count tests, but he did use a combination of filters and fans that have already been third-party tested. The company Clean Air Kits had air purifiers with these exact components tested, and each fan yielded 40 dust slash virus catter CFM, or around 45 pollen catter CFM. Gustin used 18 fans, so 40 to 45 times 18, is a total catter of 720 to 810 CFM. That, if, if you don't know, is unbelievably powerful. For reference, anything higher than around 300 CFM is pretty powerful, and Gustin's likely more than doubles that. But again, this is an extrapolation, so its actual performance may vary, but probably not by much. Anyway, Gustin, how are your allergy symptoms now? I have no allergy symptoms inside now, and this is insane. This is insane. I can't stress enough how, how much easier this makes my life. It's crazy. When I go to bed, I feel that I can truly rest now. My body gets to rest in an environment that's free from pollen, which means that I get more energy. So that's amazing. That's amazing. What advice would you give to someone who wants a really powerful air purifier, but wants the process to maybe be a little easier? I would recommend you to modify a pre-made DIY unit. So you buy a, a pre-made DIY unit that utilizes PC fans. The company Clean Air Kits is really the best option if you want a quiet, energy efficient, and powerful air purifier, but you don't want to build one from scratch. Their Luggable XL Ultra 
which has seven cooler Master Mobius 120p fans, is their most powerful. These fans are 2400 RPM, but are super quiet. The XL Ultra has a dust and virus catter of 401 CFM and a pollen catter of 450 CFM. If you want to go even more powerful, they sell fanless kits in which you can install whatever fans you want. I recommend the 3000 RPM Arctic P12 Max or P12 Pro fans, which are louder. If you do that, you should buy a speed controller to turn it down and make it quieter if you need to. So use an external variable speed 3 to 12 volt DC 2A power supply like this one. Again, these speed controllers do not allow you to turn the fans higher than their default speed, just lower. If you do that, you will have a very, very versatile unit that will handle almost every situation and you will be able to sleep right next to it. Quick modification with a great result. Thank you, Gustin, for taking the time to explain all of that to us and take us through your build. I really appreciate that. Thank you. In the future, I'm going to make a video where I feature a bunch of your DIY air purifiers. So if you've made one, email me pictures of it at this address. And it definitely doesn't have to be as nice as Gustin's. I'm just going to feature a bunch of your designs. If DIY isn't your thing, you can buy from Clean Air Kits and actually get 5% off with my code, Alex Kessler. I have a free email course about the five mistakes I made that worsened my home's air quality and what to do instead. So sign up at the link in the description if you're interested. If my content has helped you feel healthier in your home, please consider supporting me on Patreon. If enough of you do that, I'll be able to make more videos about more things that you guys care about. I recently did a poll on my YouTube and asked you guys what topics you want me to cover. And a lot of you said healthy and natural building materials. So if enough of you support me on Patreon, I'll be able to make more videos about more stuff that you guys actually care about. So please consider doing that. And thank you so much to my current Patreons. If you've watched all the way to this point, comment, my unit is the XL Ultra version. Hopefully that doesn't get this video flagged. Uh, I don't think it will, but do it anyway. If you've been watching this whole video and you're curious about why I've been recommending this kind of air purifier instead of a HEPA, check out this video. And then after that, check out this video. Anyway, my fellow renegades, thanks for watching.